Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about uh, my experience with the uh, Martian frame, the Martian 2, the 225 inch frame. Um, it's very good. I really love it. It's 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 beautiful. It's 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 for the price you're paying. It's it's very good actually. Um, now just some things to note of the top and bottom plate are just absolutely weak. Uh, uh, one, two, four, five crashes, and uh, this was on the first crash actually. Uh, and you will break the top and bottom plate. Now the other day I went to go order a new top and bottom plate for this, and I found they're selling thicker ones. So if you're planning on ordering this. You might as well just you gonna end up crash uh, breaking it anyways. So just order a spare top and bottom plate, and you should be good. The arms are very good. I haven't broken an arm yet, and I've crashed in the pole, so uh, that that's very good. Um, <clears throat> but you you will eventually someday. Um, the structure, the the integrity of how it holds, it, it's very good. It flies good uh, after you tune a little bit. It doesn't fly very good right out of the box uh, from a uh, beta flight. Uh, you might do need a little bit of tuning here and there. <clears throat> um, other than that, it's a very good beginner uh, frame. It's good for FPV, I guess, but I prefer the real AAC X210, the normal one, uh, over this. Um, but if you're a beginner and you're just learning how to build and getting into this hobby, I do recommend this frame because you have so much real estate in here. You can do almost anything, you know, uh, not anything, but you have a lot more room than the real AAC X210. So you can put a fat receiver back here, uh, VTX, and just have a huge stack and, and you still have room inside so this is very good uh, frame and, and the, the battery is up top here so uh, I mean I've, I've broken the battery up here does make a difference bottom or top because I just crashed in the pole going like this and uh, yeah I just blew up my battery and uh, broke the plate here I didn't notice it till recently that it was broken when I went to go fly the other day <clears throat> so other than that, it's a very good frame. I do recommend it as your first frame. I have two of these. Um, I was thinking of buying the six inch uh, version or just just six inch arms to put it on here uh, to see how that'll go. But then at the last moment, I decided not to. And I'm actually getting the Jeb RC LX6 uh, and the LX5. The LX6 is a six inch, the LX5 is a five inch. So I'm just gonna have that to be my six inch quad. <clears throat> it just looks beautiful. I really love that one. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen it, I've just seen videos on it, it's just, it's just, I don't know, I fell in love with it, so that'll be coming in soon, the LX5 will be here before the LX6, so that'll be on an upcoming build soon with the uh, Returner R4 motors, uh, the brother hobby. <clears throat> so overall, this is a very good uh, frame, uh, if you're new to this hobby and you're thinking of getting it, you should get it, there, there's nothing to worry about, but just know, just order, I recommend it, because you'll just get, end up waiting a month for another top and bottom plate, so you just get it with it right now. And maybe you won't break it, and that's very good, but you'll still have a spare with you, which is also not a bad idea since stuff takes about a month to get to you, or more. So, <clears throat> my final thoughts is this is a good frame. I like it. I love it. Um, I don't use it as my go-to quad because it's just so heavy. Uh, it's very heavy, but it's very good, you know, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's a good frame, it's, it's heavy, um, it, it does not perform as near as well as the uh, uh, Real AC X210, uh, that one is just uh, beautiful, just out of the box, even beta flight stock pids will fly beautiful, um, <clears throat> I love it, the Real AC X210, this is very good also, uh, and um, this is a very good frame, if you're thinking of getting it, do get it, and uh, just like I said, just get a spare top and bottom plate. As you can see, let me see if I, I can show you guys. Props are in the way, but anyways, you see the slant right there. And in the beginning of the video, you could kind of tell something's wrong with the the thing, and that's what's wrong with it. it. Just completely broke down, and I broke the VTX here also. It's not really broken. It's just uh, this here, and uh, it's easily repairable. But once I get once I get the top plate, I'll repair and just stick it back on. Um, <clears throat> Other than that, I love flying. It's very good, um, but don't go with such amp-hungry motors because of the weight. It'll just be very stressful on your batteries, and uh, you won't enjoy uh, that full speed, and and uh, and it'll just keep ruining your batteries. So uh, try to go with a little bit less power-hungry motors. These are 2306, 2750, which is a very bad idea. Don't even try this. Um, <clears throat> I'm planning on possibly just uh, re replacing these motors, something else here, because it's too much for, for this uh, quad here. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. 
Uh, this is my thoughts of the Martian 220. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to let me know. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm, all, I'm here also. Just let me know. And that's going to conclude it for this video. Alright guys, take care. Happy flying.